it's it's only when I when I move my head from side to side. It's like a like a clunk. Yeah, like a clunk clunk. Oh, I have, I have no idea. No, I haven't done any swimming. Uh, yeah, she just walked in? Yeah. Okay. No, that's, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bye, Mom. Sorry for just barging in. I just really need to get some stuff out of here. It's okay. I am late for an audition and I couldn't find a spot out there at all, of course, bullshit neighborhood. You should have parked in the spot. Yeah, well, you were already there. Yeah, well, yeah, I would have moved. Well, I double parked. What is wrong with you? I think I got like an ear infection or something. Was that your mom on the phone? Yeah, she's uh, you know, trying to help me troubleshoot this thing. Mm hmm? Yeah? Does she have anything to say? About what? Did you tell her? No, we're talking about my ear. You have to tell her, Gary. Why do I have to tell her? We broke up. It's not fair for me to have people thinking that we're still together. What is my mom? She lives in New Hampshire. It's not like I'm gonna bump it her to the grocery store. But did you tell your brother? I haven't felt the need, okay? Do any of your friends know? What? Gary, this is really unfair. Dude, can we not talk about this now? I mean, I feel like I've got a fucking pebble in my ear. I can't hear what anything. What is wrong with your ear? These are all my books, I'm by saying the way. there's something in it. Well, it's earwax. It's not... Earwax, it's like a pebble or something. No, it's earwax that's hardened into a ball and now it's rolling around inside your ear. Come on. It's because you use Q-tips. How can Q-tips transform soft earwax into a hard ball? It gets compressed. That's why I told you not to use those. Well, who doesn't use Q-tips? What kind of medical advice is that? Stop using Q-tips? It's common sense. Even the Q-tips people say not well, to use What the hell am I supposed to use then? I'm supposed to, like a, what, a pencil? Should I have a pair of scissors in my ear? I mean... You could wrap a tissue around your finger. My finger? Look at my fingers, I got these fat sausage fingers. I'm my, not everybody has these perfect little girl fingers that fit into ear canals, okay? Well, you use Q-tips, you get ear what infections. I don't know for? what else. I am looking for my tea. Where did you, you put it? Have you ever looked into somebody's ears that don't use Q-tips? It's sick. They got like caked up yellow stuff. I'm sorry, clean ears are an important part of my life. Call me crazy. Well, you get what you sow. Well, you reap what you sow, actually. Right, well, I gotta go. Are you seriously leaving? I'm double parked. What's the issue? Well, I thought you could help me with my ear. How? You worked at a pharmacy. I worked at a CVS in high school. Well, didn't you learn anything? We must have learned something. Gary, God. You need to respect that we're not together anymore. You need to tell people we broke up, okay? We take a shower. <sighs> How can I? Well, take a shower. It'll help. The hot water will help get the earwax out. That's the only way. All right. Gotta go. Suze. Gary. Can you need help with that? No. You thought you'd solve your Q-tip problem with another Q-tip? I should have used my finger. It's really in there. I feel like it's poking my skull. Do you want to go to a doctor? Uh, I don't have insurance. Well, you can't leave it there. Can I touch it? Uh, I don't think so. I'm going to touch it. <laughs> what? You're touching I it! I didn't do anything. I said not to touch it. God. I'm not moving. Uh, 
I'm on the brink of losing my hearing. I just know it. Could you not, please? Come on, don't. All right. On the count of three. Just don't. Uh huh. One. Please. Two. Ah, God. Okay, that actually wasn't so bad. Okay. Nope. Is yours still clocked? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go heat up some water. You know what I don't get? Mermaids. Like, they're supposed to be this sexy mythological creature, right? But have you thought about, like, what it would be like to find something like that in the ocean? That'd be horrible. I mean, like, the top half's all right. You got the, like, the breasts and the, the woman's face and everything. But then you look down and it's like a, it's like a fish down there. Like, why would you want that? Like, flippers and a waist hole and everything? Like, is that what sailors fantasize about? Like, why would you just not fantasize about a real woman? You know, like, why you gotta compromise about making her half mackerel or whatever? <clears throat> or half jellyfish. Yeah, that'd be sexy. Oh! Oh, what if the bottom part was a woman and the fish was the head? Oh, oh what that's do do? five minutes. Oh, okay, what Okay, lift yourself up slowly. All right, and just flop your head over. Okay. This Oh, I felt something. Really? Yeah, yeah, okay. something came out. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, ooh, yeah. yeah. What is it? What is it? What you is know it? what that is? It's a googly eye. A what? It's a googly eye from those toys. Seriously? How did you get a googly eye in your I ear? I have no idea. When did you it? do that? Johnny and Janie, who are past childhood, are not yet quite grown into manhood and womanhood. They are in between. And the in-between period is known as adolescence. And one important aspect of adolescence is known as puberty. This name is used to describe the physical growth and change that bring sexual maturity. Puberty might begin any time between the ages of 9 and 16. But for average Johnny, it comes at 14. What about Gary? Puberty begins with a change... Let's go to the bedroom. He'll be fine as long as the TV's on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Fallopian tubes form the passage through which the mature ovum passes to the Wow. Is that a metaphor or what? What? You don't think that's like a metaphor for a whole relationship? No, I think it sounds like you stuck something in your ear while your mom was boffing the soccer coach. Yeah, but I I chose not to hear it. I I chose to plug up my ear. Yeah, you did choose not to listen. You also chose to act like a complete asshole. Right. You chose to visit that prostitute in Las she Vegas. She was not a prostitute. You did a lot of shitty things, Gary. You made me feel really unwelcome here. Shit! My audition! Oh, yeah, I was, I was wondering about that. God. You know, this is the fucking metaphor, Gary. Not the stupid googly eye. It's me giving and giving and you taking advantage of me when it suits you and ignoring me the rest of the time. I wasn't trying to take advantage of anything, honestly. You were, though. I had a fucking eyeball in my head, man. Who could have predicted that? Gary, if you have any love for me at all, you will let me go. You'll tell your mom we broke up and you'll tell her it was your fault because it was. Okay, fine. I'll tell everyone it was my fault. Okay, I'll call up all our friends and tell them I'm an asshole. Will you really? I don't know, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. Please try to remember that you broke up with me. I know, but then I changed my mind. You're a very confused person, Gary. No more Q-tips. I'll never give up Q-tips, and there's nothing you can do to stop me.
I don't know why I can't let you go I made up my mind I can't say it's true Cause my heart, oh my heart, oh my heart Keeps on 